Hi! This week I want to focus on a new author and illustrator. I have some friends with me. Maybe they look familiar. I bet you've seen some of these books before. The author we're going to talk about this week is Laura Numeroff. If you remember, the author is the person who writes the words in the book. Well, scoot over boys. Luckily for Laura, She's had the same illustrator for a set of books that she's done. The illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. The illustrator of the books I'm going to read this week of, by Laura Numeroff is Felicia Bond. I happen to have some of the characters here with me. Mouse, Pig, and Moose. And they're going to be in our stories this week. Let me show you some of their stories. If you give a pig a pancake, got another pig book. If you give a pig a party, got a couple books about good old mouse. If you give a mouse a cookie, if you take a mouse to school, the best mouse cookie. Can't leave out good old moose. If you give a moose a muffin. And then I also have, if you give a dog a donut. Today, we're going to read, if I can find it, I have so many books laying here. If you give, I'm sorry, if you take a mouse to school. Let me grab him. Does he look like it? Yeah, they did a good job. If You Take a Mouse to School by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. The character, the main character in this book is Mouse, but there's one more character. See if you can find out who that character is. If You Take a Mouse to School. Oh, there's your clue. There's the two characters of the book right there. If you take a mouse to school, he'll ask for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. And a snack for later but he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. We've got a place for our coats and backpacks at school too, don't we? He might do a little math and spell a word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. Then he'll need to wash up. You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean. Oh no. He'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. He'll build a little mouse house. Do you hear rhyming words there? He'll build a little mouse house. Mouse and house. And make some furniture out of clay. Wow. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own. So he'll need a lot of paper. This says cafeteria. He'll probably use up all your pencils. When he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you.
then he'll want to take it home, so he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. And do a little skateboarding. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack. So he'll ask you for your... lunchbox. And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him back to school. I love that. Okay, so our characters are the mouse and the boy. Do we know the boy's name? I don't think we ever learned the boy's name. What's the setting of this book? Where did this book take place? Tell someone at home where this book took place. Yeah, it mostly took place at school. Okay, tomorrow I'll have a different book for you. Look what the back is. Good night, mouse. Bye, mouse. This must be the book he wrote. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow.